Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 8 Japanese destroyer, the Akizuki. And this is a match on the uh, public test server where the new patch is. Which means I am using new commander skills and that is actually why I'm playing the Akizuki. You see, one of the new commander skills is um, something that people call HEAP. It has some it has a name something like um Inertial Fuse HE or something. Basically what it does is it lowers your fire chance by 6% but it increases your HE penetration by 25%. Now why would that be important? You see, for HE shells to deal damage they still need to penetrate. But HE penetration is a simple calculation. You take the caliber of the shell and you divide it by 6 and that's how much armor it can penetrate. So, for the Akizuki uh, she has 100mm caliber guns. She can thus penetrate 16.6mm uh, of armor. The problem is that uh, most tier 8, well, I think all tier 8 ships actually, tend to have 19mm of armor. Even destroyers and, you know, gearings, etc. as well. And what this means is that Akizuki normally cannot penetrate them with HE. And that's a pretty big deal, because um, while DD fights tend to revolve around HE spamming each other, if you have to rely on AP, angling is incredibly useful against it. So, HE AP, however, is plus 25%, and 16.6 plus 25% puts you at 20 millimeters, which means you can um, penetrate destroyers, as you just saw that um, DD got absolutely murdered. Sure, they killed came by a torpedo but uh, the shells themselves did incredible damage it was like 5k damage in 10 seconds or something so basically HEAP makes Akizuki's shell HE shells able to fight destroyers the problem is that uh, well the minus 6% um, fire chance reduction puts Akizuki at negative 1 fire chance so, uh, even if you take the new Demolition Expert, which is actually nerfed to 2% now, and you use your flags, you will reach a maximum of 2% fire chance. And the problem is that while um, you should be able to penetrate battleships, as you can see on this Bayern, it's not very effective. Sure, I penetrate um, a fair amount, but, you know, the few shells that do penetrate they don't deal any damage, also my smoke is running out so I have to leave. But yeah, basically, I penetrate some of, with some of the shells on the battleships, but I deal very little damage. Because as it turns out that the HEAP isn't actually as incredible for destroyers, because destroyers just don't have incredible damage per minute numbers. They do actually rely on fires quite a bit, like half their damage, especially Soviet DDs comes from fires so actually losing like half their fire chance in the case of soviet it is a pretty big deal and in the case of akizuki you actually lose most of your fire chance so i'm not quite certain i think it'll be actually good on the akizuki still because with heap akizuki is incredible at dd versus dd fights like she will absolutely murder a gearing in a one versus one but she tends to end up being really, really weak against the battleships. Against cruisers it's okay, but battleships is a pretty much no-go. Uh, you'll see at the end of this game, but something like 25% of my damage will be dealt by fires this game. Think about that, 25% and my fire chance is 2%. That's not a very high fire chance, is it? So, um... Essentially, I also tried other things with HEAP. I thought that, hey, uh, Soviet DDs have 130mm of caliber, um, which means they can penetrate 21mm of armor. So I figured, hey, uh, what kind of ships have 21mm, have like 25mm of armor that, you know, you normally couldn't penetrate with Soviet uh, HE, but if you had HEAP skill, you could. And I realized that if you think about the Kiev and you think about the ships that she meets, 
uh, ships like the Colorado and the Nagato of Uso, uh, New Mexico, they actually have 25 millimeters of deck armor, um, upper plate armor, you know, bow, aft, etc. So basically the entire ship is covered in 25 millimeters of armor or less, except the main belt, of course. Which means that um, if you take HEAP on a Kiev, you can actually deal, like, penetrate the deck or the ships all the time. And when they are, you know, ships like the Colorado and the New Mexico. And it actually works quite well. You definitely penetrate pretty much every salvo. The problem is though that you only have six guns and your fire, your rate of fire isn't the highest, so... You deal like 400 damage per shell that actually penetrates and you get like two or three penetrations because if you hit the gun that does no damage, um, if you hit um, the main belt it does no damage, if it doesn't hit it deals no damage, if it hits an area that has been saturated with damage it deals no damage. Basically there are many areas where you won't deal damage and as a result you find that um, your damage per minute is quite lacking because you don't get citadels which means your maximum damage is 33% of what it actually says so your I don't know what is it 130,000 damage per minute on the Kiev ends up being more like 40,000 and then you actually consider the amount of actual hits you get and you end up with a number that's even lower as a result you end up shooting at the battleship for like five minutes to actually kill it so HAP on ships like the Kiev really isn't worth it. Yes, it does work as advertised pretty much, but uh, it's not nearly as good if you actually think about it, you know, properly. Of course, you might want to try it yourself. So th something else that I thought about that you might want to do with HAP is um, use it on a ship like the 155mm Mogami. Uh, you might have seen the 155mm Mogami um, clip I showed against the Dimitri Donskoy. Yes, I actually used HEAP in that one, but um, it wouldn't have made a difference if I had the skill or didn't. Because the Dimitri Donskoy does not have enough armor to, you know, 155mm Mogami is going to penetrate her regardless with HE. However, if you replace the uh, Dimitri Donskoy with a Des Moines, it would be completely different. You can't penetrate the Des Moines nearly as easily because she has 27 millimeters of armor, which 155 millimeters of armor, you know, HE shells cannot penetrate from the Mogami. As a result, with HEAP, you will treat the Des Moines the exact same way as that Dmitry Donskoy was treated, which you know has some use, but I find it to be incredibly situational because most chips aren't going to be in that kind of a uh, armor range. Although the nice thing is that you can actually start penetrating the bow armor and aft armor of um, battleships with 155mm uh, caliber guns from the Mogami. Which, you know, isn't terribly useful, but it is something at least. You still can't penetrate the uh, deck armor of uh, high tier battleships, so it doesn't make as much difference. It's mostly like a cruiser killer. But I guess, I mean, if you're into that, you might want to try it. And also, you can just see right now, the Bayern's uh, superstructure is something I can't penetrate. Yet, you know, I'm still getting not penetrations because if the shell hits a gun, it doesn't pen. If it hits, like, the main belt, it doesn't pen. If it hits areas, you know, some areas I just cannot penetrate and as a result, damage isn't there. One thing, though, um, if you... If your HE shell doesn't penetrate, the fire chance is reduced, so having more penetrations does increase your the number of fires you're gonna get, which means that, uh, you know, it's not a complete loss. As you can see, I have five fires, so it's not like you're not gonna get any fires at all, because if you think about what you normally get with the Akizuki, you might be higher, but maybe only double, which would be something, you know, if you actually compare the numbers, it doesn't appear that it should be that different because you know if you compare the exact numbers it's 8% fire chance versus 2 if you take the HAP skill but you still lose a lot of fire so I don't know if it's quite worth it 
I guess on the Akizuki it still is. Again, because you can murder destroyers and it's a big deal. So, what else did I try with the HEAP? Well, I thought about the fact that... Um, most cruisers have 203mm of HE caliber, or, you know, caliber in general. And that puts them at something like 33mm of um, penetration on HE. What if you... And I looked at, you know, what kind of ships they meet up against and uh, realized that, well, they can penetrate the bow armor of all the battleships, the aft armor. So it's not that useful, and superstructures of, as well, of course. But then I realized that um, some battleships actually have 38mm of deck armor, namely US battleships. Um, you know, ships like the Iowa, Montana, probably North Carolina. And the interesting thing is that um, if you take the HAP skill, 203mm caliber HE can now penetrate the deck armor of US battleships. Which did mean that I tried it in a few games with the Des Moines. I met uh, an Iowa at long range and I did so much damage to her. Like just casually lobbing some shells and uh, she lost like 10,000 HP from like maximum range. It was quite incredible. And you know, you could consistently penetrate with HE. But it's situational because it only applies to US battleships. Uh, the German and Japanese battleships have 57 and 50 millimeters of deck armor, which means having or not having HAP doesn't make a difference in penetrating them. And because you're giving up 6% fire chance, it probably actually isn't worth it. So I feel HAP is very, very situational, and I'm not, I'm not quite certain if I actually want to take that skill on almost anything. By the way, I'm running out of this capstone because I'm afraid of the uh, Chapayev. And obviously there's a DD as well. I can take the DD, but probably not the Chapire. Oh, never mind. The... Oh, it's a very low HP Budionni. Goodbye. You see, the thing is with the Akizuki that currently, you know, without HAP, she's very, very good against... in matches where she is top tier. Essentially tier 6 matches. Because tier 6 uh, ships don't have as much superstructure armor and other armors like that. So with HEAP, you know, it kind of uh, ends up becoming similar in tier 8 and tier 10 matches, well, more or less at least. But you lose so much HE. Uh, fire chance, sorry. By the way, I don't think that Takizuki has HEAP, which is why she is firing AP. So we're, we'll do a fight. She is uh, APing me, and I'm just running away. Because I can angle, and her AP... Or, and her HE doesn't deal damage because it doesn't penetrate my 19mm of armor. Whereas I am penetrating her every single time I fire. So I'm having a massive advantage. By the way, destroyers actually do have superstructures and those are less armored. You can penetrate those with HE, but they're very difficult to hit because, you know, they're destroyers. Look at how tiny they are. So basically, HEAP is giving me this fight for free. Like, I am doing so much damage to this Akizuki while she's doing like nothing at all to me. I've lost like 2000 HP while she has lost like 10,000 to me. Also I'm being shot at by something else as well so it's not even the Akizuki that's really dealing damage right now. I think it was that now. So in DD fights as you just saw, HAP is incredibly good, like very very good. But then, you know, as you saw with the fights against the Byrons, it was very bad. Or rather not bad, but didn't do much. Sure, I penetrated here and there, but damage is pitiful, because it's like 400 damage per penetration that actually hits, like, the superstructure. And you know, only a small percentage of your shells are going to hit the superstructure. Like 25 maybe? Maybe 30? Maybe 35? And, you know, you don't deal the full damage with that penetration, you'd only deal 33% because full damage is for citadels only. So, you end up with this really weird scenario where... You actually end up being really helpless against battleships. It, it kind of reminds me of um, Royal Navy Light Cruises, essentially. Except they just fire AP, I guess. 
and they can actually penetrate the side, but I guess the Akizuki can do the same thing with AP. Also, hello, Gnizeno. Uh, I really would like to kill her, but I'm afraid that if I fire here right now, she might fire in her turn and that might just kill me. Might be prudent to just wait, but never mind. I was hoping that Salvo would kill it, but oh well, I took the risk and actually I got the kill. Because, you know, 5 shells hit the superstructure and that did the H H 800 damage that was necessary. By the way, I'm at 8 kills, with only 91,000 damage. Quite incredible if you think about it, but... You know, kill securing, kill securing. I didn't, I didn't do any kill stealing, only kill securing. But, um, by the way, um, if you notice... Um, my uh, consumables, I've run out of all of them because I didn't take superintendent because I needed the points to try out some other things and uh, because if you're an Akizuki you want AFT for sure otherwise you don't have um, without AFT you don't have enough range like right now I only have 10.2 kilometer range I just don't have a 19 point captain here that's why you know I don't have it but I would normally take it, so AFT is 4 points, uh, HEAP is 4 points, so, and you can only take, um, if you if you take a tier 3 skill, which is Demolition Expert, you can't take um, Superintendent, because uh, you don't have enough points if you take 3 uh, tier 4 skills. And you obviously want Concealment Expert, you want uh, HEAP, and you want AFT. Which means you have to choose between Demolition Expert or Superintendent. At least, you know, normally. So you would have to give up one of those. And I'm not quite certain if AFT is the best one to give up, but you really don't want to give up a super, sorry, Concealment Expert either. So, you know, it might actually end up being that the question isn't as much about whether AP, HEAP is very good or not for the Akizuki, but rather whether you have the points for it. I'm, I mean, sure, many people actually are quite okay with giving up Superintendent, but I don't know. Like right now, you can see an example of a game where I've run out of all of them. And, you know, it would be very, very useful to have Smokescreen because I could get closer to them and they cheat them from closer. Or, you know, at least AP, I guess. Uh, one thing I would like to note though is that uh, the Bayern is actually a bit of a special case uh, in terms of uh, battleships. By the way, I have concealment expert so I can concealed fire at uh, 8.9 kilometers, I believe. Come on, Bayern kill. Come on, give me the kill. Unfortunately, that's out of range now. Too bad. I guess I'm not getting the Bayern after all. Alright, next target, I guess. It's the Chapaya, which is a bit scary though, because, um, well, she probably doesn't have radar, but she might. I'm gonna torpedo, just in case, maybe it'll work out. There's still a minute left though, so I'm just gonna try to put some more distance between us. Because if I fire right now, I'm immediately spotted, and then I will be killed. And it's very difficult to deal damage to somebody, or kill somebody if you are dead. And usually death happens if you're killed. Yeah, I know, it's a shocker. Also, I just realized, actually, that um, the Chapaya is a faster ship than the Akizuki, so I can't really put distance between them. Because the Akizuki's top speed is 33 knots, and the Chapaya is 35.5. Or was it 36? Regardless, she is faster than I am without speed boost, and I don't have speed boost. I'm still gonna take a few shots because the game's gonna end in a moment, just to deal some extra damage, but... Well, there it is. So, in conclusion, with in regards to HAP, it's situational. I really wouldn't take it on many ships. I really recommend testing it out on the public test server before you would take it in the actual game itself. It's really easy, you only have to play a few games to test it out. So anyways, this was the game thought it was quite good. Unfortunately, I didn't commentate on pretty much anything. I just talked about HEAP. Sorry about that one. So I got First Blood, uh, Kraken Unleashed, Devastating Strike, and uh, Confederate. 498 shell hits, and as you can see, actually, most of my hits penetrated. Usually you would have something like, I don't know, one-third hits are penetrations, and most are non-penetrations or similar, but in this case it worked out. 
8 kills is quite incredible though. I, I, I don't have 8 kill games very often. And I even kept the base. 7 fires with 2% fire chances, quite, quite good as well. 2400 base XP and as you can see I got a billion medals but most of them are, you know, the beginner medals. Also the enemy team was also a Kisuke power. And as you can see 22,000 damage with fire and I only have 95,000 damage in total so 25% of my total damage was with, was with fires. And you know, I mean, I fired Ichi most of the time anyway. 60,000 damage for 471 hits, maybe not as bad as I thought, but it's a lot of upkeep and it's very easy to get tun tunnel vision when doing so. So I'm not quite sold on this ship in general, I guess. But maybe it's alright. Alright then, this is the credits part. Notice that, look at that, look at that. 561,000 commander experience. That's incredible, right? You've never seen that much commander experience before, right? Well, I haven't. And uh, unfortunately, this is because of the public test server that gives plus 15,000% commander XP. Um, just to test out, you know, commander skills and all that stuff. I really recommend trying it out. It's quite fun because you get to play many tier 10 matches also. It's the best place to play the Shimakaze because people don't try to dodge your torpedoes. Oh, by the way, shout out to Michi. And anyways, I would like to thank the Patreons on Patreon now. Thank you very much for your continued support. Akatakan, and I hope I see you guys next time.